Hello class, how are you all? In this video, I will be discussing class 9th English Beehive book Pros to the Sound of Music Part 2 The Shehnaya Ustad Bismillah Khan Before I start the text I would like to recapitulate the points which I have discussed in my previous video. In previous video, I had discussed that Hongi was banned by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb because of its shrill and unpleasant sound. So, a musician belonged to a barber family who has access to royal court decided to improve the tonal quality of Pongi. So he made improvement in it. He took a hollow stem, made seven holes in it, then played it by closing and opening these holes. And this is how this is how this produced a very melodious sound now it was how the pungi was given the name shahnai as it was played by a nai before a shah palace the in a shah palace so these two words shah and nai was combined were combined and made a new word and a new word name was given to Pungi as Shehnai. So we can say that Pungi is the ancestor of uh, Shehnai. Yes, earlier Shehnai was played in only temples and weddings and the credit goes to bring it to the classical stage to Ustad Bismillah Khan, a renowned musician was born on twenty first March nineteen sixteen Dumrao Bihar. At the age of five he was awarded by a Maharaja because of his melodious sound produced by his Shehnai. And his ancestors, paternal ancestors were great musicians and when he was at the age of three, his mother used to take him to uh, his maternal uncle's house. There his uh, fascination towards Shehnai increased and at the age of 16 sorry at the age of 14 he accompanied his uncle uh, to Allahabad music conference and there Ustad, Bism Ustad Fayaz Khan appreciated him a lot and motivated him to work hard and in the year 1938 with the opening of All India Radio, he got his first break. Right? Now, let's move on to the text. When India gained independence on 15th August 1947, Bismillah Khan became the first Indian to greet the nation with his Shehnai. He poured his heart into the rag kafi from the red fort to an audience which included Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru who later gave his famous Triest with Destiny speech. Please underline that what speech was given by Jawaharlal Nehru. Triest with Destiny. Okay. So... Ustad Bismillah Khan was the one who greeted the nation with his 
Shehnai, right? He played Shehnai at Red Fort when the when India got freed freedom. So he played Rag on the occasion of independence of India. And this rag was rag kafi. It was played by Ustad Bismillah Khan. And this rag kafi was played from the red fort, right? Bismillah Khan has given many memorable performances both in India and abroad. His first trip abroad was to Afghanistan. Please underline his first trip was abroad. First trip abroad was to Afghanistan, right? Where King Zahir Shah was so taken in the taken in by the Maestro that he gifted him priceless Persian carpets and other sovereigns. So when he went to Afghanistan, his first abroad trip, right? It was to Afghanistan. So Afghanistan's King Zahir Shah was so impressed by the maestro that he gifted Bismillah Khan many priceless <coughs> sorry, Persian carpets and other sovereigns. Sovereigns means sovereigns, yes, things given in a memory of place, right? Yes, the king of the of Afghanistan was not the only one to be fascinated with Bismillah's music. Film director Vijay Bhatt was so impressed after hearing Bismillah play at a festival that he named a film after the instrument called Goonj Uti Shehnai. Please underline the director Vijay Bhatt was also so impressed that he gave his film a title after the name of Shehnai. The name of the movie, the name of that movie was Goonj Uthi Shehnai. Because of its melodious sound produced by Bismillah Khan on Shehnai, uh, director Vijay Bhatt gave his film a name Goonjuti Shehnai. The film was a hit and one of Bismillah Khan's compositions, Dil Ka Khilona Hai Toot Gaya, turned out to be the nationwide chart buster. Chart buster means record breaker. This movie by Vijay Bhatt was a blockbuster. Right, and Bismillah Khan's composition. He had given a composition there, Dil ka Khilona hai Toot Gaya, and it became a nationwide, nationwide record breaker. And this song was composed by Ustad Bismillah Khan. Despite this huge success in his celluloid world, Bismillah Khan's ventures in film music were limited to two. Vijay Bhatt's Goonj Uthi Shehnai and Vikram Srinivas Kannada venture Sandhi Apanna. Sanadhi Apanna, right? Celluloid. Celluloid? Old fashion of referring to films. Right? And venture, venture is a project. A project which often involves a risk. Though Bismillah Khan got success, a lot of success in this movie, 
even after this success he only composed music for two movies one is vijay uh, vijay bhats movie gunjuthi shehnai and vikram srinivasan's kannar venture sanadhi apanna right now uh, let's move on to the text i just can't come to terms with the artificiality and glamour of the film world he says with emphasis 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 to lay stress on something kisi cheez par zor dena bismillah khan would say that he didn't like the artificiality of the film world he didn't like the glamour the artificial world of films that is the reason he didn't compose music for any other movies awards and recognition came thick and fast now what is the meaning of thick and fast thick and fast means he uh, he got a lot of awards and was recognized at many places at many places he was awarded he got a lot of recognition and honored with awards bismillah khan became the first indian to be invited to perform at prestigious lincoln center hall in the united states of america he also took part in the world exposition in montreal in the cannes art festival and in the osaka trade fair please underline where or at what are the places and what are the places where he performed bismillah khan ji performed around all over the world he performed it in united states of america at the lincoln center hall he performed in montreal australia in the world exposition and he performed at cannes art festival as well as he performed in japan at the osaka trade fair so these places are to be uh, kept in mind that where he performed internationally when earlier i told you it was afghanistan where he performed and everybody was mesmerized with his performance and uh, the king gifted him with the priceless carpets and souvenirs right and here also uh, he played in united states and then australia and then cannes festival as well as in japan at the osaka trade fair right so well known did he become internationally that an auditorium in tehran was named after him tahir mosike ustad bismillah khan see he got so famous he got fame worldwide and when he performed in tehran tehran is located in iran so bismillah khan was so famous all over the world and in tehran that in tehran an auditorium has been named after him and the name of the auditorium is tahir mosike ustad bismillah khan yes in tehran there is an auditorium which has been named after ustad bismillah khan tahir mosike ustad bismillah khan right national awards like the padam shri the padam bhushan and the padma vibhushan were conferred on him conferred given conferred is given 
please underline what are the national awards which were given to him these national awards are padam shri padma bhushan and padma vibhushan i hope this is clear to you all of you are able to understand the text in 2001 ustad bismillah khan was awarded india's highest civilian award of bharat ratna in the year 2001 he was awarded india's highest civilian award that is bharat ratna with the coveted award resting on his chest and his eyes glinting with rare happiness he said all i would like to say is teach your children music please underline the text teach your children music this is hindustan's richest tradition even the west is now coming to learn our music so he said the words that teach your children music this is hindustan's richest tradition even the west is now coming to learn our music right i hope this is clear to you coveted coveted is much desired much desired ustad bismillah khan received highest civilian award that is bharat ratna in the year 2001 and his eyes were shining and he was very happy because his hard work had been recognized and he gave important message to the people of india that they should teach their children music because it is the richest tradition of india in spite of having traveled all over the world khan sahab and he is as he is fondly called is exceedingly fond of banaras and dumrao and they remain for him the most wonderful town of the world please underline this dumrao and banaras were the most wonderful towns of the world for him although ustad bismillah khan ji had traveled all over the world even then he considered his place dumrao and banaras the most wonderful towns of the world he was so down to earth that although he had traveled all over the world yet he was still he was attached to his birthplace a student of his once wanted him to head a shehnai school in the usa and the student promised to recreate that atmosphere of banaras by uh, replicating replicating the temples there but khan sahab asked him if he would be able to transport river ganga as well replicate replicate is replicating making a copy of something when his student offered him to settle in usa he uh, when his student requested him to settle in america usa so he refused the proposal the student wanted that ustad bismillah khan should set up a shehnai school in usa and he promised that he would be recreating the atmosphere like of his native place so he responded to his student that whether 
he can transport he would be able to transport river ganga also to america so he wanted to say that he could not leave india he cannot leave india because he is so much attached with the temples of banaras but not only to the temples but also to the river ganga later he remembered to have said that said that is why whenever i am in foreign country i keep yearning to see hindustan i keep yearning to see in hindustan while in mumbai i think of only baran banaras and holi ganga and while in banaras i miss the unique matha of of dumrao yearning yearning is longing he says that whenever he is out or he is away from his place he always misses his native place see when uh, he says when ever i am out of the country i always yearn to see india and when i am in mumbai i think of banaras and the holi ganga and when i am in banaras so i think of my native place that is dumrao and i missed the uh, matha of dumrao ustad bismillah khan's life is a perfect example of the rich cultural heritage of india please underline one that effortlessly accepts that a devout muslim like him can very naturally play the shahnai every morning at the kashi vishwanath temple now what is the meaning of devout devout is believing strongly in a religion and obeying its laws following its practices so here we got to know that ustad bismillah khan was a pers- perfect example of rich cultural heritage of india his work was beyond the barriers of religion he liked to play he liked to play shahnai in temples though he was a very strict muslim even then he used to play shahnai at kashi vishwanath temple which was a hindu temple so this shows that he didn't have the barriers of religion in his mind he was a true indian and he considered the music as india's richest cultural heritage ustad bismillah khan passed away on 21st august 2006 at the age of 90 after a prolonged illness he was given a state funeral and the government of india declared one day of national mourning ustad bismillah khan passed away on 21st august 2006 after a prolonged illness and the entire country mourned the death of legendary musician there was a holiday one day holiday and he was given a state funeral this text ends here i hope this is clear to you i hope this is clear to you now let's discuss this blue box on page number 25 there is a interview Shekhar Gupta an interviewer asked uh, Ustad Bismillah Khan that when partition happened 
didn't you in your family think of moving to pakistan the interviewer shekhar gupta wanted to know that didn't ustad bismillah khan and his family think of moving to pakistan what bismillah khan reply god forbid me leave banaras never i went to pakistan once i crossed the border just to say i have been to pakistan i was there for about an hour i said namaskar to the pakistanis and salam alaikum to india i had a good laugh so in this interview was uh, taken on october 2005 right so when uh, he was asked whether uh, or why he didn't move to pakistan why he and his family didn't move to pakistan because he is a muslim so he says once he went to pakistan for an hour and there in pakistan he said namaste to uh, pakistanis and assalam alaikum to indians so this is how he tells that he was very much connected to banaras to india he even cannot imagine to leave his native place he even can't think of leaving banaras right so our text ends here i hope this is all clear to you i hope you understood everything about the text in our next video i'll be discussing the question answers thinking about the text and uh, these uh, answer the question in 30 40 words and exercises as well so it's enough for this video uh, we'll meet our next video with the question answer